What up, mates? Thank you so much for coming one more time. You already know me, my name is Blackson, and today we're going to talk about five interesting, weird music stuff that I have found throughout the years on the internet. And even though all these things are really popular nowadays and were in the past, there are still some people that don't know them. So I, I thought, yeah, let's make a video and you got me right. So without further ado, let's start the video. So the first one is the triple layered and double layered, whatever. So the most common one is the, the triple layered one. Basically, you play a song first on the left side or on the right side. Then you play it on the other side and then you play it on the center. But of course, the song has to be synced uh, with itself. So you play like eight or 16 or 64 or 32 bars. Then you play the song again and then again. And yeah, since I cannot put the exact Samples here because the video would be blocked by copyright. Those will be the five first videos on the playlist that I'm leaving for you down below on the description box. So number two will be the 8D songs or 8D music. So, well, yeah, let's be real. A human being hasn't reached that level of knowledge to travel to eight dimensions. But anyway, it is a cool way to call it. So basically, the song starts on one side, but instead, uh, as we saw on the on the triple layered music, instead of just playing on the other side, it plays and then it moves to the other side and then to the first side and then to the other side, back and forth and so on. So the same from videos six to 10, that'll be 8D music. Well, you will see 8D, 9D, 20, 40, yeah, like you get the idea, right? Nope. Number three is something called binaural beats or binaural or Google will say. <laughs> binaural beats. Let's say you're listening to a sound in your left ear that's at a frequency of 132 Hz. And in your right ear, you're listening to a sound that's at a frequency of 121 Hz. Your brain, however, gradually falls into synchrony with the difference, or 11 Hz, instead of hearing two different tones. You instead hear a tone at 11 Hz, in addition to the two tones given to each ear. Binaural beats are considered auditory illusions. For a binaural beat to work, the two tones have to have frequencies less than a thousand hertz each ear. Binaural beats have been explored in music and are sometimes used to help tune instruments such as pianos and organs. More recently, they have been connected to potential health benefits. And yes, they can cause hallucinations. A clear example are the so-called e-drugs that were famous around 2010, 2008, something like that. If from videos 11 to 15, that'll be binaural beats. Be careful with that. I recommend you to use your headphones at a low level and if you start feeling dizzy and you don't really like it and you start feeling weird, stop it for a second. Number four, deepest forms of vaporwave and related music and other related, not vaporwave, but weird things that you can find and it is something like uncategorized. Weird experiments appear every day as the concept of music fades more and more over time. Is there a concept of music by the way? Wall noise or harsh noise, vapor noise, lowercase music, ambient and dark ambient, music concrete, witch house, electroacoustic music, japa noise, power noise, Maybe you have heard ambient music, I feel like it is the most mainstream of all these ones. But anyway, those are completely underground and weird and uh, interesting to hear. The same as the last one, be careful when you listen to them, because they can be harmful to your ears at a high volume. So, and number five, ASMR. Let me do something. According to Wikipedia, ASMR is defined as autonomous sensory meridian response. It is a tingling sensation that typically begins on the scalp and moves down the back of the neck and upper spine. It is most commonly treated 
triggered by specific auditory or visual stimuli. Okay, so yeah, I know that was weird, I know that was strange, but that's how ASMR works. You have probably seen it, girls talking into microphones, people rubbing on the microphone with gloves, people eating with the microphone really close to their mouth so you can hear all the munching. For some people that is gross, for some people that is something that they just don't like, but for some others it is something great that helps them to sleep and yeah, of of course it will cause that weird ooh, that weird sensation in you but in the end maybe you will like it give it a try so yeah you have the playlist down below in the comments and let me know if you like this video what other musical experiments or what other weird things do you want me to talk about do you want me to talk about in a single video about any of those topics let me know in the comments or in my instagram twitter or facebook page now you have my website live on gym.com they are not sponsoring the video but anyway i created the page thanks to them so you can give it a try if you want i know my background is not great but you know my wall is orange as hell subscribe give me a like share with your friends and keep dancing thank you so much and have a nice night it's